all right let's get started in this video i will be sharing my flight experience from zanzibar to dar es salaam on this beautiful air tanzania bombardier q400 it just arrived from kilimanjaro and now it's taking us to dar es salaam it's getting parked and the passengers who arrive from Kilimanjaro, they'll be coming out from the aircraft soon. And there they are coming out from the aircraft. It's a domestic flight so they are checking the boarding pass manually. This airport is dedicated to charter flights and that is the reason why you see most of the aircrafts parked here carry a lower number of passengers. A new terminal which is the Terminal 3 is already been constructed and is expected to be open soon. I mentioned this in my previous video, Zanzibar Airport Review, you can always watch that. You can simply click on the link appearing on top. This is a 76 passenger aircraft, 6 business class and 70 economy class seats. Let me brief you with the seat features. I think the cabin is going to be full as there are still passengers coming in. Alright, so the seat features a tray, which is normal in every aircraft. Let's check out what's inside the seat pocket. So we have an air sickness bag. We have this Twiga magazine. By the way, Twiga means giraffe in Swahili. And just like any other aircraft, we have this safety onboard card. It has this aircraft features and the safety onboard important and everything. No entertainment system on board since it's a charter flight. There's this one good thing, the seats are not congested, enough leg space. comfortable let's check if the reading light is working just in case if you need. Yes, it does. I 
I think all the passengers are on board and the cabin crew is cross-checking before takeoff. The guy next to me was cracking unusual jokes, so don't mind me laughing. Flight briefing by cabin crew in Swahili language. On behalf of Tanzania, Captain Mashala Binyasi, the breakfast of Sawani. Myself is Anatoria, together with the cabin crew, and comfort is Joshua. Together, the to come on board are joining part number TC 105 shall be departing to the restaurant. Our estimated flight time to the restaurant is 18 minutes, closing at 6 southern feet level, above the level. We request to place your luggage in the overstay list or under the seat in front of you. So the propellers are starting moving. What do you think? What's the first step before takeoff? Let me know in the comment box below. Here the cabin crew is explaining emergency what we should do when it's Swahili language. And now, same thing, but you Refer to safety instructions card in the seat pocket in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, should be the cabin light to be switched off to comply with the safe distance derogations for takeoff and landing. Thank you. And we're almost there. We're about to land in Dar es Salaam. The flight is hardly 15 minutes. It's not even half an hour, so they didn't serve anything on board. The sad thing is, they didn't even bother to ask if we need water. Just look how beautiful is Dar es Salaam from the top. I'll try to make it short from here as I already have a full video. The link will appear on top. You can always watch it later. There's a beautiful bridge right there. I really enjoy aerial views because they just give me the beautiful picture of every city as they shine at night. We 
We will be landing at Julius Nyerere International Airport Terminal 2, which is dedicated to Air Tanzania flights. We've landed in the beautiful city of Tars. I have a checked in bag so I'm waiting for it. Meanwhile, let me brief my flight experience. It was nice, it was fine. Overall, it was 
all right the only disappointment was of course you guys know they didn't even bother to ask for water but maybe for short flights they don't Alright, so I have my bag. Let's get out. Poor guys, they're still waiting for their bag. Oh, so many people came to pick me up. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Okay, so this is the end of my journey from Zanzibar to Dar es Salaam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know what's your review on this video. Meanwhile, enjoy the beautiful airport and I'll see you in my next vlog. Till then, take care and goodbye.